Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are already available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. The premium subscription of uh, LeetCode questions has premium playlist and I combined all the questions into one single playlist consisting of 230 questions ordered by the sequence number according to the LeetCode platform. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve today. It is type medium, question number 1907, count salary categories. Let's see the question in lead code. Okay. They have given a table which is consisting of account ID and income. The combination of both of them is the primary key. Okay. Each person has some ID and the respect to incomes. Okay. Now what they are telling is count the Wait a minute. Yeah. Count the number of bank accounts of each salary category. The salary categories are low salary. If the salary is strictly less than 20,000, average between 20 to 50, high salary when it is greater than 50,000. The result table must contain all the three categories. It is very important. Listen to this. If there are no accounts in a category, return zero. Okay. Return the table in any order. Let's see this. They have given three condition low salary. Wait a minute. It is a low salary if it is strictly less than twenty thousand. Average salary when it's uh, between twenty K to fifty K and high salary. When it's greater than 50k, strictly greater than. So by this logic, this is how much? 10,000. Uh, it is one lakh, eight thousand something. It is there. So it comes under what? High salary. This is 12,000. 12,000 comes under low salary. Read it again. This is low salary. This is high salary. Or let me take it. High salary low salary again this is 87,000 this again comes under high salary again what is this one 91,000 this again comes under high salary okay let's say that using case 1 statement and uh, keeping that we can get these three statements let's try to group by this new column let's say type or category okay we got category as new column if you try to group by it we will get what high salary equal to 3 low salary equal to 1 that's it because there is no average category it won't be coming right but what they have mentioned here is the result table must contain all the three categories so even if it is missing it should be there so the simple trick here would be let's create a new table CTE such that it consists of all these three things and let's do the uh, left join of this table to this table wherever it is matching this value will be there wherever it is not matching there will be null value because it's a left join and whenever it is null we can replace it with zero then we will get this let's see that first of all let's first of all calculate this one select what's table from accounts From this uh, accounts table, what you want? Wait a minute. Case when 
income less than 20,000 then low salary when income I'm directly keeping the less than or equal to 50 because if it is not less than 20,000 it gradually will be greater than 20 only so then average salary if anything is not matching then high salary Let's send it as a category. Okay. Let's run this first of all. Okay, here you can see high salary, low salary, and the same. Let's call this as some uh, CD. Now from this CT, what I will do is I will group by category. And I will select category, comma, count of rows. As, uh, let's call it as. something cow standing for count okay here we can see high salary is 3 low salary is 1 okay but we can see that there is no average salary but we need average salary so what we will do is we will create a new table which consists of only three three values and we will do left join with this one okay let's call it as some with uh, CTA2 and right uh, select low salary as category union average salary as category union select high salary as category let's run it it should be comma Let's stay with this one. Wait a minute, something mistake out done. Let me remove this.
okay we got this table also let's call it as CTE3 now we have CT3 which is consisting of all these three rows and CT2 which is uh, just count of everything now what we will do is from CT3 as a left to join CT2 B this should be capital CT this should be capital CT2 what is the common column in this both of things a dot category equal to b dot category select all okay here you can see both of them are conducted uh, connected but we want what only one category is enough and count only we need so what we are doing here is whenever it is not matching it is showing null instead of null it should be zero so we can use coalesce let's say a dot category comma coalesce cow whenever it is null it will show zero as accounts count okay okay let's submit it okay our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform thanks for watching if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a data scientist or a data analyst interview just be disciplined complete all the 230 questions which are asked in lead code for the SQL round you will be easily cracking any SQL round thanks for watching